I'm Scott Martin from Bonzo Matsu. Today's video is going to be about repotting this beautiful European hornbeam, giving the trunk a bit of a clean where the moss has grown up the, up the trunk. I want to clean that off a little bit, refresh the soil that it's in, give it the once over, make sure everything's okay. It's been three years since the last repot, so it's well and truly, well and truly due. It's starting to run out of some space in there, and it's uh, it's needing a bit of a bit of a kick along when spring gets here. So that's that's the outcome for this video. So the first thing to do is to remove the tree from the pot. Very simply, I'm going to be angling the tree on the side, getting in and removing all of the wires at the base of the, the base of the pot. Next we have to actually get the tree out of the pot and break the bond between the between the root structure and the, and the pot itself. So we use a, a nice little sharp sickle for this one and just drag. Okay, that should, that should be just about right. Now I want to pop the tree out of the pot. So the next thing to do is to prepare the pot. And to do that, first up I'll give it a wash and see it's a bit, um, a bit filthy. Give it a wash, put the pot mesh in there in the tie-in wires and then start preparing the soil for the tree to be put back in there again. So I'll, uh, I'll just take this and give this a wash. There we go, all clean. How's that? So now I'll start doing the, uh, the pot mesh.
Okay, so that's the pot done. Took the tree out of the pot, put the tree to the side, didn't touch the root ball, which is my next job. I'll get onto that. But give the uh, give the pot a bit of a wash, a bit of a clean up, put in the, the pot mesh, put in the tie-in wires, get them out of the way, and a drainage layer for the scoria because it's a large enough pot to have a drainage layer. Then a smoothing layer of the actual potting medium that, that I'm using with a mound in the middle for, for later on, which I'll show you the shimmy as that happens. So now that's done, I can put that pot to the side and I'll get onto the, to the tree. Um, that repotting work can be dirty, dirty work sometimes. You'll notice that I worked the root ball round and round, and my preference is to not come in there and slice off a section of the root ball, but to break it apart a little bit by a little bit and slowly work your way in till it, um, till it softens up. Because that means that you know you can get the water to permeate too in your water. Whereas if it's that solid brick, the water hits it and runs around post repotting, which is 
which is not what we want. So last thing to do with this now is to work the edge of this root ball, try and round that off a little bit more and just open it up a little bit so it's a bit softer through these sections of the, of the root ball. You see how the roots are nice and soft around the edges, fluffy, for want of a better word. Nice and porous, open. So the last job that I have to do with this now before we start looking at securing in the tree to the pot, you start to round this edge off. There's nothing more pleasing for me than seeing a really old tree like this one with such fine, delicate roots. You now you look at those, look at those fine feeder roots, that's, that's perfect. That means the tree's in really good condition, really good peak health. It means that the root mass can support the foliage mass. And what you're seeing here with these fine, fibrous roots is what you're seeing with the fine structure of the, the top of the tree too. So. It's nice when it, um, when it all comes together. So now it's time to get this one back into the pot.
that's it, report done for another two, three years, something like that. It's really nice to see a healthy root ball, to know that there's no rot in there, that things are going exactly as they should be. The tree is going from strength to strength, getting healthier every year. Doing really nicely, I'm really, really right with it. So let me know what you think. There's a bit of a um, bit of different technique in there with the four-way tie-in and use of sphagnum moss and the, the use of the potting mix that I use. So let me know what you guys think and uh, like and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Love you all. Happy bonsai. Make sure you stay in touch and subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, happy bonsai.